Hello, and welcome to another Pentair Water training video. Today we will be discussing the reverse osmosis automatic shutoff valve operation and replacement. The function of the automatic shutoff valve is to stop flow of water to the drain when the reverse osmosis tank becomes full. The shutoff valve operates using a diaphragm to turn off the drain water when the pressure in the storage tank is high. Specifically, the shutoff valve will close when the tank pressure reaches about two-thirds of the feed pressure. Because reverse osmosis membranes produce very low volumes of water, it takes up to eight hours to fill a typical storage tank. During this time, you may hear some water running down the drain. This is normal. However, sometimes the reverse osmosis system may continue running to the drain for longer than normal. In these cases, there are a few things to review for troubleshooting. The first thing to check is the air pressure in the storage tank. Check the air pressure only on empty tanks. To empty your tank, open the RO faucet and allow it to run until no more water comes out. You can use a bike pump to add air to the tank to speed the draining process along. Check the air pressure using a tire pressure gauge capable of reading down to 10 psi or lower. Once the tank is drained, relieve air from the tank until pressure reads approximately 8 psi. After checking tank air pressure, let the RO run overnight to fill the tank. If your drain water continues running for longer than 8 hours after confirming tank air pressure, check to see if the tank feels heavy like it is full of water. If the tank feels light, as if little or no water is in the tank, check the system drain line flow control, filters, and membrane. This is an indication little water is being produced by the system. If the tank feels full, the next thing to evaluate is the check valve. The check valve is designed to trap pressure between the automatic shutoff valve and the pressure tank. Because this check valve traps the pressure, it is responsible for holding the automatic shutoff valve diaphragm closed when tank pressure is high. If the check valve is malfunctioning, you will see a symptom of the system drain line turning on and off on its own. The drain flow will stop once pressure in the tank reaches two-thirds of the feed pressure. But if the check valve does not trap this pressure, the drain flow will start again. If you see your system drain flow cycling on and off without any water being used, examine the check valve. To troubleshoot your check valve, you must first close the inlet valve to the system, close the valve on the tank, and open your RO faucet in order to depressurize the system. Once this is done, you must disconnect the tubing from the check valve. Next, you need to blow air into the check valve. If the check valve is working correctly, you will not be able to blow air through the check. If you can blow air through the pressure tank side of the check valve, it needs to be replaced. Once replaced, you can reconnect and repressurize your system. If the previous steps in this video have not resolved the continuous draining issue, this indicates that the automatic shutoff valve needs to be replaced. You can find the automatic shutoff valve at the top of your RO system. There are two sides to the automatic shutoff valve. The side that has the in and out markings on it is the top side, known as the high pressure side. The side of the valve with no markings on it is the bottom side, known as the low pressure side. The outlet high pressure from the filter housings connects to the in portion of the top side of the valve. Next, the high pressure out goes back to the membrane housings in. Similar to this, the membrane housing low pressure out connects to the in on the bottom side of the valve. The out on this bottom side then runs to the system's tank. Once these four ports have been connected, the automatic shutoff valve has been installed. For more information on Pentair water products, visit our website at www.pentairaqua.com pro.